now decided to start documenting this. Uh, nobody, nobody has done what I'm about to do. So this is my boat, 1974 Smoker Craft, and it's flat bottom jet sled. It's only a jet sled because it's got an outboard with a jet pump on it. Okay, current progress. I uh, got it to the shop today, and uh, this is the bow. That's the dash. This is your flotation device that goes underneath the bow. Motor's off, sitting over there. Got all my ribs in. Transom built. Just got done putting putting that sheet on. And still working on these corner pieces, but I've got, got it framed in. Just got this guy on there using aircraft rivets or boat rivets or whatever you want to call them so there's no hole in the middle of them right. so transom is complete got it all buttoned up and uh, got the boat flipped over with a cherry picker not the easiest task um, but uh, now we're ready to start doing the main sheets. These guys are just sitting in there. That is to bring the floor and the new piece kind of to somewhat the same plane. And once it's flipped back over with the sheet attached, um, I will be welding that to this and this to that. We're getting close. Front is done. We've got dash, original bolt holes, just lopped it in half, and uh, did a little bit of custom work here. Everybody's been asking this question. 
Great, Will. You got the boat done. What are you doing with that? Will it fit on there? Answer is, I'm gonna make it fit. Looks a little different, doesn't it? So, what I had to do was I thought that I just could crank those up, but that would have put the rollers right on top of the ribs. So I had to move them out. Yeah, so, and of course up. So I just set this piece on top of here, and that was the height I was pretty much stuck with unless I was gonna trim on that. So that is, you know, about an inch and a half above the fender. And then I took some channel. It's kind of some, a little bit of jankiness, but really, it's not going anywhere. Don't try this at home. So, we're painted, we're on the trailer, everything's done. But I did add some pieces going that way because, I don't know, I felt like it needed it. So, today, we're putting some plywood and some carpet in the boat. After plywood and carpet, all I've got left is wiring and seats. And then we're going fishing. Carpet is in. Plywood's in. All that's just... Wow. Yeah. Coming right along. Pretty sweet. Got my casting deck here. boat is complete and it turned out pretty good I'm really happy with it, it uh, it's now home and back in the yard I think it took a total of I'm gonna guess between 60 and 75 hours you know right around there and about $400 in material much bigger. If you have any questions on how I did it, or if it's some magical mystery, comment below and I'll fill you in. And really, it wasn't all that complicated. I just had to, you know, think it through. One little one little step at a time. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. I uh, I think that I'll probably be posting some more fishing videos now that I have my boat complete. And, uh, and I'll see you on the water.